to my channel. So for today's video, we're back at it again with another full face of using Blink makeup products video. Today we are doing H&M makeup products and I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have any H&M stores near me that has like a makeup aisle, like a makeup section. All of the ones I went to only had like lip glosses and eyeshadows. So I had to purchase all of these online. It says right there, H&M. But I'm super pumped. I'm super excited to dig in because I found so many products that I'm very excited to test out with you guys today. And also, obviously, I shop at H&M. It's one of my favorite stores. This top is actually from H&M, but I've never tested out any of their makeup products. So I'm dying to know. I'm dying to see if any of these are gonna work for me. And these types of videos are one of my favorite types of videos to film. The last time we did one of these, I think, we did e.l.f. Cosmetics and then the one before that was Forever 21. If you guys haven't seen those, I will link them down below. And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're one of the peeps who enjoy these types of videos. And if you're new to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up to, you know, celebrate the fact that we've found each other. Come on, come on, I'm waiting. Click, click that like button. All right, so I think we're ready to begin. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's do this. So I guess I'm gonna start off with the face primer. This is the mattifying face primer in combination skin. And here is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto my finger. As you guys can see, it has a very thick consistency. I'm just gonna rub it with my finger. Does it smell like anything? Nope. It doesn't. Now I'm just gonna apply it on to my face and right off the bat, I can already tell that it's drying fairly quickly. So I definitely have to act fast. So far so good. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It feels very lightweight. So now let's move on to the foundation. Here is the foundation I got. This is the All Day Liquid Foundation. It has SPF 15 sunscreen and it also says it has a flawless finish. It has a pump, people. It has a pump. I always appreciate a foundation that has a pump. It just makes applying it so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here. And this definitely looks like it's going to be my color. And as you guys can see, it has somewhat of a liquidy consistency. So I basically just applied it where I need it the most. And I'm going to be using my beauty blender to blend everything out. Ooh, this foundation definitely has a scent to it that I'm not really liking. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's gliding on very, very smoothly on to my face. As you guys can see, I mean, the scent is... <laughs> I guess it's bearable, but it's still, it still kind of stinks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm definitely really loving this foundation. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy, but at the same time, it's giving me amazing coverage without it being cakey. For me, I feel like it gives medium to full coverage. If I wanted to add a little bit more, I think I can definitely achieve a more fuller coverage, but I'm good here. I'm good with the coverage right now. So, so far, really liking this foundation. So so let's now move on to the concealer. Actually, you know what? Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using this primer for my lids. This is called the Eye Fidelity Primer and here is what it looks like. I really love the packaging. It's black, sleek. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on to my lids. Oof, I applied way too much. Be careful when using this. A little definitely goes a long way. I legit just applied a small amount onto my finger and this is more than enough to cover both eyelids. Next, we're moving on to the eyeshadow palette and this one is called the Smoky Nudes Eye Color Palette and here is what it looks like on the inside. It is absolutely stunning. The colors look very promising, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of a swatchy swatch. This middle shadow right here is really calling my name. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty decent, so let's go ahead and try, let's try the one right next to it. Ooh, fam, that's, that's pigmented. Let's try one more color. I'll do this one up top. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at I don't really know what I wanna do to the eyes, so I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna take this color right here and apply this on to my crease and let's see where that takes us. This is going to be our transition color. So far, so good. The shadow is blending in really nicely. 
not hard to blend at all i like it i like it so far <laughs> moving on i think i'm going to take that middle eyeshadow right there and put it all over my lid and hopefully that's a good idea oh my gosh fam that shadow is such a pretty color it is so gorgeous okay i'm really really feeling this eyeshadow palette. Next, I'm going to be mixing these two colors right here and applying that to the outer crease of my lids. I'm just gonna apply it a little bit onto the corner just to smoke it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep blending and blending till I'm satisfied with the way it looks. All right, so now we're gonna move on to concealer. We're not done with the eyes yet. We're gonna finish it up later, but here is the concealer. This is called the Cover Up Concealer. This one is in True Beige, which I think is not my color, but <laughs> we're gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. Does it smell like anything? Ooh, it kinda has like a really low-key alcoholic scent to it. So I'm just gonna go for it and apply it underneath right here. Okay, this color is actually not that bad. So again, I'm just gonna be using my beauty blender to blend it out. No complaints so far, fam. It is blending in really, really nicely on to my face. And I also appreciate the fact that it's not clinging on to my dry patches on my face. I have a little bit of dry, just small patches, and it's definitely not clinging on to them. So, whoo! Hallelujah. Next, we're moving on to this guy. This is the High Definition Invisible Translucent Powder. It's a mattifying and perfecting for all skin tones. And here is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, this little plastic tape thingy is so annoying. Oh, come on, come on. Woo, we did it, fam. We did it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit onto the lid is that oh wait that's that's a lot <laughs> i'm gonna take my beauty blender and use this to bake underneath my eyes now i'm just doing the other side <gasps> oh oh my god oh, this thing is so messy all right so while we wait for our face to bake we're gonna move on to the brows i'm using this guy this is the super fine brow liner and it's dual ended it has the brow liner and a spoolie at the end and i'm really hoping this is my color because again i bought everything online so it was really hard to determine my colors okay so so far so good check that out you guys i'm really really liking this it's actually reminding me of the one from anastasia the brow wiz we're done baking i'm using this big brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and dust it off well technically i'm not dusting it i'm actually reapplying it onto my face so that we don't, you know, waste any products. <laughs> don't waste products, kids. Don't waste products. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to contouring, and this is what we have for the contour. It's called the Medium Light and Shade Contour Duo, and I actually had no idea I picked up the cream contour. As you guys can see, they are creams, and I typically don't like using cream contours for my face, but since this is all we have, we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up with my finger and apply it right here. Mm, that's not bad. That's not too bad. And I'm just gonna use this little brush to blend it out. All right, so I think we're gonna move on to the blush and we have this guy. This is called the Pure Radiance Powder Blusher and it's in coral. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I actually thought there was going to be a mirror inside of this one, just like the other products. And also this was $10, $10 friggin' dollars and it doesn't even have a mirror, but that's okay, H&M, I forgive you. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is such a beautiful color. I think I overdid it. Just. Just a little bit, but that's okay. We can we can fix that. And I also really appreciate how it's gliding on very smoothly. It's not patchy. Next, we're moving on to highlighter. You guys know this is my favorite part. This is called the Illumination Luster Powder in Delicate Pearl. Mm, so fancy. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick swatchity swatch. Oh, oh fam, oh fam, that is. Oh, oh, mm, that, mm. and that was just one swipe, you guys, one swipe, and this is what it gave us. Wow, very impressed already. I'm gonna put it right here. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Are you guys seeing that? 
That is absolutely so, so stunning. I'm really, really hoping the camera is doing it justice and it's picking it up. Let's go ahead and try it on this side. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Just gonna put a little bit onto my nose and why not? Let's just, let's also get the forehead really quick. Why not, right? Let's, let's go all out real quick. <laughs> and also on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> I'm going highlight crazy! Ah! Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my fake lashes and this is called Fullness and Definition and here is what it looks like. It flares out a little bit, which I think is super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this off of camera and I'll be right back. All right fam, the lashes are in and they're okay. They're pretty decent. They're not as like crazy and voluptuous as I'd like them to be, but they're still pretty cute. So now let's move on to the eyeliner, the wings. We're using this guy. This is the Precision Eye Marker and I believe it's just in black. All right, you guys already know the drill. I need complete silence when doing the wings. So here goes. All right, we did it, the wings are in. So overall thoughts, I actually really, really enjoyed using this product. I think it did an amazing and flawless job. I also really like the fact that it's so pointy because it really allowed me to get all the way in there and create a really nice pointy wing. So now I'm going back to the eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this one once again and applying this underneath, like right here underneath my waterline and so that my waterline doesn't look too bare. So next we are moving on to the mascara. This is the Intense Volume and Thickness Maxim... what? Maximalist Mascara and here is what it looks like. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my top and bottom lashes and I have a feeling I'm gonna have a really hard time applying this to my bottom lashes because this thing let me see. This thing is quite, quite massive. Oh, that's what she said. It's definitely a challenge applying it to my lower lashes because of the wand, but we're making it work. The last thing we're doing is this guy. This is the Lip Color Go-To in Caramel Cream, which is a really nice nudish pink color. I would say it's a little bit more on the nudish side, so I'm super excited to put it on my lips. All right, I am ready. Last step, fam. Last step. Mmm, it kind of has like a strawberry scent to it, which I'm not mad about. That smells delish. Okay, so this lippy is a little bit more on the sheer side. It's definitely not as pigmented as I'd like it to be, but overall, it's still pretty good. But again, I wish it was a little bit more pigmented because if it was, ooh, this lippy would be so bomb. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. Enjoy these awkward poses. Mm -hmm. Overall, I had such a fun time filming this video because I found things that I can now incorporate into my everyday makeup. And again, I just absolutely love filming these types of videos because it allows me to discover so many things that I may have never discovered if I never did this video. So good job, H&M. Also, I want to remind you guys that this is more of a first impression video. I'm gonna continue wearing this makeup throughout the whole day. So if I have any more thoughts on any of these products, I'm gonna put them down in the description box below so be sure to check it out and also please let me know down in the comment section what's our next full face using blank makeup video should be please let me know down in the comment section below be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video and i love you have an amazing day and i'll see you soon Mwah. Mwah.